these in your local gardening store, although you can't, they would be $63.87. That's over $21 per plant. You are getting three for less than the price of two. I wanna show you our two different varieties. I would say absolutely at this price, go ahead and get both. Maybe plant them every other, um, every other area. You could keep these in a container if you wanted to, but oh, plant them in the ground. They'll come back over and over again. And it doesn't matter where you are. So this is called the Starry Night Collection. This is called Starry Night. And the way that I can tell the difference, the blooms, well, they bloom like di the size of dinner plates right here. Somebody, I walked out, they said, wow, that's the size of your head. Um, it is. These are the, the biggest, most glorious blooms I have ever seen. The Starry Night has um, almost like a burgundy, kind of a mulberry toned leaf. So if you want that really exotic, kind of a deep, more dramatic look and that kind of background for your hibiscus, go with the Starry Night. It's the most limited and it's also the most popular. I, honestly, I feel like I'm on a tropical vacation, which I had to miss this year, so bring it home. And then this is called the, um, this one is called the Star Bright. We do have a few more of these, but they will all go very, very quickly. You're getting all three of these gorgeous, hardy hibiscus, and leaf and petal has taken completely taken the guesswork out of it. So not only do we have an amazing value, you're getting a warranty from leaf and petal. These are perennials, but if within the next year, you somehow manage to kill one off, <laughs> I've always thought that I could do it, I can't, even I can't do that, um, leaf and petal will help you out, they'll even send you a brand new plant. I wanna show you what they look like when you get them, um, and you can always check out my Instagram, by the way, because my daughter, my lovely 13-year-old daughter, she said, Mom, you can't grow anything. She said, you can grow kids, <laughs> but you can't grow any plants. She goes, I've got this. So she planted it, she dug in the soil, she took this, what looks kind of like a little bit of an alien monster. Um, she put it in, you can't, you can't go wrong. It doesn't matter what way you put it, it's going to grow and you, oh, there she is, my lovey. Um, she's so cute. Um, she's taken such pride in it. Okay, so that actually, the, the picture in the middle, that was one week after she had planted it and there will be a picture coming up a little bit later or you can always check out my Instagram to see what it looks like now. It completely surprised all of us. And it's been so exciting, especially for those of you, if you are in, you know, if you're in Minnesota or you're in South Dakota and you think, Shannon, <laughs> there's no way I can grow hibiscus. That's a Florida plant. That's a Caribbean plant. That's, you know, for, for Mexico in the South and tropical, tropical environments, this hardy hibiscus is designed to grow anywhere. And Leaf and Petal will send it to you at the exact right time that it's time for you to plant it. So you don't have to know anything about zones or, or where to plant it. It loves sun. It loves water. You can plant it in a container. You can plant it in the, in the ground. If you wanted to know the zones, just so you know when you'll be receiving all three of these plants in the mail, you can see that um, for those of you in the northern states, May 3rd is right around when you're going to be receiving yours to plant it as soon as you get it. April 26th for the other states um, here in here in Florida, I planted mine just a little bit early, but sometimes we get it warm. It didn't matter. <laughs> My hibiscus didn't care. It's growing like a champ. So this is such an exciting today special. It would always be an exciting today special, but it's extremely exciting today because after 2020, there have been millions upon millions of new gardeners just in the United States alone. It is becoming nearly impossible to find seeds, let alone to find two year old grown plants like these that are coming right to you right when you need to plant them. I am clearly not, that's what they'll look like. Don't they look kind of they look kind of like alien fingers, I think, but it's so exciting to put them right in the soil. We do have planters, by the way, so if you wanna have these ready for you, the planters will come right away, and then you can get your soil, you can get it all ready so that when your hibiscus plants come, they are ready to go. So we do have a three pack in three different colors. We'll share all of that information with you, but I've got to introduce you to the expert. She has planned beautiful gardens. She is a master gardener. Her name is Rochelle. Grayer. She's with Leaf and Petal. Rochelle, this is the most incredible today special. You can see that I'm over the moon. I didn't realize that the that the blooms got this gorgeous and big. Oh, these these have been such perennial favorites, uh, pun intended, for um, for our gardeners. And it's because you're right; those blooms they get uh, like fully seven to eight inches. In fact, these are the largest blooms you can buy for your garden. Like garden center everything, the best garden center, you're not gonna find a plant 
that has bigger flowers than the hardy hibiscus, which is so cool. Even those giant dahlias are not this big. These are absolutely enormous. And I love that they are native plants, which what does the native plant tell you? The native plant tells you that it was growing here on its own here being in the US, which means that when you bring it into your garden, it's actually gonna want to live there. It's it's native to, to our country, it's native to our landscape, and it's actually gonna be that much more strong as a grower. So when you get it, it's gonna look like this. I love, Shannon, by the way, that your daughter is planning this. When I met you, you were like, uh-uh, no with the plants, but I love that <laughs> this is like, <laughs> three years later, we've got you hooked. I it's it. true, <laughs> because you can't go wrong, right? Like, leaf and petal is, has been my safety net, to be honest, and yeah. they even include, this is like my my new gardener's Bible, um, much smaller than my um, regular Bible, but um, but it, it is, it gives you step-by-step step and exactly what you need to know and exactly yeah. what to expect, and then... This has been my lifeline. So if you have any questions, you email, they're on social media, you can text, you can, there, you can call. Leaf and Petal has expert uh, gardeners like Rochelle who are just there yep. helping you out. So you really have made me uh, a more confident gardener. My home is so much more beautiful now. Oh, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. And uh, honestly, these are, uh, I had never grown these before. Um, coming to uh, work with Leaf and Petal. Uh, these are new to me as of a couple years ago and I planted mine. I thought they would never come up either because quite frankly, they look a little strange when they come. You might be a little bit wondering, but these are when you feel them, these are really, we, we dig them from the ground and we ship them to you all within a, a week or two. So they're very, very fresh. And when you get them, you'll feel how much life is in these um, stalks. They're these uh, really like uh, heavy duty um, root stalks that you're getting. These are two year old plants. So that means you're gonna get a nice big plant right away. What you've got on the screen there or what you've got in the studio there is, um, is what's possible if you grow it in the right conditions. Um, even in the first year, you can really get the, that much of a plant. Um, up north here where I'm at, I didn't have it in the most perfect condition, so I'm expecting mine to get that way probably this year. This is my second year um, having it in the ground. But when you get it, this is, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna want to plant it. If you look at it, you'll see there's a very, very clear top part and a very clear bottom part. The bottom part, I'm gonna bring it up close. It has all these little hairy roots on it. So that's how you know it's the bottom and this top part doesn't really have all the little hairs. I would plant it in the ground or in a container. If you live in a really dry place, it might be better to put it in a container just because um, if you don't have uh, irrigation or regular water, these are gonna really want to be watered in order to get all of those big blooms. They need they need the water in order to do what they're meant to do. In fact, when I told you they're native, they're native to American wetlands. That's, that's what they like in the wild. So and when you put this in, you're just gonna wanna make a little like pile of soil, whether you're in your container or in the ground, just so that you make good contact with this crown down here, set it in, bury it just so that that top stalk just up to there and it's ready to go. Keep it nice and wet. We do like a wet spot. So in fact, these are real problem solvers in the garden. I put mine in this really heavy clay area that I have that doesn't uh, drain very well mm -hmm. because not a lot of other things grow in that wetter spot. They don't, a lot of plants don't like the wet. These love that wet spot. So if you have a spot like that, this is actually perfect for that kind of spot in your garden. So easy, and I just love that there's hardy in the title. <laughs> that makes me feel yeah. so much better about it, and everybody can have that tropical hibiscus. So we have two different options for you, and everybody's yeah. going to get three in the two different options. This is the star bright option. So this one has um, the ballet slippers. Oh, okay, we're gonna show Barry Awesome for you. We've got close-ups of what they look like. Um, it, and they're so big and gorgeous. So this is called Barry Awesome. You're getting this one included. Oh, look at the different colors and the dimension that you get. Then you also are getting ballet slippers, that beautiful, delicate white with just a hint of pink around the edges. It almost looks like ruffles. And then of course you get that incredible, what you always think of when you think of those tropical flowers. Uh, this one is called called Summer in Paradise.
this will make it so that so your pretty. summer feels like it's in paradise. How beautiful. I feel like that one just sort of popped behind your ear. Maybe not when it's quite <laughs> this big. It would take up your whole face. <laughs> but right, that's that sort of summer, you know, wearing a little maxi dress or, um, you know, maybe you're just, maybe this is in your own front yard or your backyard. Can you imagine if you live where my relatives live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and you have uh. tropical hibiscus in your front yard, everyone's gonna be like, who, what, how, where? <laughs> Where? You can't get them anywhere else. Um, all right, this is the most popular and the most limited of our options. It's called Starry Starry Night. This is, we're gonna start with the evening rose. So what you get is you get an entire plant with the evening rose. This is beautiful. And what I notice about this is it's sort of similar to one of the ones in the, um, in the Star Bright, but these have the darker leaves, those more um, kind of a deep wine color leaf. Uh, so it's a little bit more dramatic uh, as sort of that when you get that bright pop of the hibiscus flower. We also have the Perfect Storm. Oh, is that Perfect Storm? I love mm. it. It's kind of that like a little bit of unexpected and that has that pink and that swirl of bright magenta. And then we have Midnight Marvel. Ooh, look at that. That I almost wore pants that color just to match the flowers. It's gonna put you in <laughs> such a spring and summer mood. This is the most limited. So here's how you order. If you're new to HSN, but you've been wanting to get into gardening or you know that they don't have hardy hibiscus anywhere in any of the big gardening stores, any place near you, this is the way you order. You go on the phone. There's a phone number right there on your screen. You can order using that item number that you see there. It's 092786. Today and today only, you get all three of the hibiscus plants for $37.50. For $12 and change, you can get yours home. We'll send it right to you as soon as it's time to plant it. So you don't have to wonder, there's no guesswork. This is the starry, starry night. It's already the most limited and it's definitely the most popular. In fact, there are so many of you on the phone trying to get your hands on these and most of you are ordering more than one set. Thinking about how much of your yard you want covered with this beautiful tropical oasis. So if you're on the phone, of course you can always stay there, but this is our today's special. It will not last the day. You're watching right now at midnight or nine o'clock out in California like my parents. This is your chance to get it. So you can also go to hsn.com to be sure that you can secure yours. And when you're there, grab those planters as well because these are the planters that you're seeing here. Nice big planters, three for $30.95. And you choose that terracotta color. It comes in that gray stone or black, just depending on what you want. You'll get all three in the same color. And then this is the star bright. This is beautiful. This one has those sort of traditional bright green leaves. You're getting the big dinner plate sized um, blooms that those will bloom in the summer. And again, there's no guesswork. These will come to you, leaf and petal. They're the experts, experts beyond experts. They will send this to you exactly when it's time to plant it in your zone. And they're guaranteeing these, the life of the, the plant for a year. You can't get that anyplace else. None of those garden stores have these and they don't have a warranty for a year. If should anything happen, anything go wrong, you just call them, uh, email them. They give you all of their information and they will replace it or help you out within that year. Rochelle, I I'm sure you never get complaints about these. They're so hardy. I know they kind of babysit themselves. When, yeah. uh, when is their blooming time? And then we sort of cut them back and they come back over and over and over again. Yeah, so here's so here's what's really great about them because a lot of the plants that we sell and a lot of the plants that most people grow, they come in in that uh, late spring, early summer. And then one of the hardest times to have a lot going on in the garden is actually in that mid to late summer. And then we get another big uh, burst of blooms in the fall. That's what's really fantastic about this. This is that late, uh, mid to late summer. That's when it really kind of comes into its own. So it's a little bit later coming on. So if you have some of our other perennials, for example, you could plant them in front of it. And as those start to fade and die back, this really will come in and fill and, you know, give you that wow moment in your garden as you um, move later into the year. But also the, the reason you don't see these in the garden center, I, I was talking to my mom this afternoon and telling her that we were doing this TS today. Um, and she was, she lives in Colorado and she is, uh, I think she's zone four, which these are good to zone four. Um, and she was very intrigued. She's been gardening her whole life. 
I've known her to always be a gardener. She's never grown these. And she was so excited to hear, first of all, that she could grow them, but also like, wait a minute, why haven't I really seen these? And here's the reason. These are, because these are those um, late summer blooming plants and they, they don't really come into their own, they don't tend to be into garden centers because what they tend to focus on is and these being at kind of a slow time of the year for the garden center, that late summer is very slow time. You just don't see them. So this that's what the other really exciting thing about this is, honestly, I don't know that I've ever seen hardy hibiscus in a garden center. And so to be able to get this, by the way, they also ship and transplant better this way than in a pot. So you really are getting the better, the better way, the healthier way, the, the most um, easily um, established, like the plant will establish more easily when it's planted this way than in a, than um, as a container grown. So that's another reason why you don't see them in the garden center because they just look like a little weird, right? Like this doesn't sell well in a garden center. That's why you don't see it a lot. Um, I also want to tell you too, this is how they're going to come just uh, when you get them, where you, you're going to get them when you need to plant them. So planting time is coming. Don't worry about when, uh, when, when to plant it, because when it arrives is when you need to plant it. And all you need to do is take it out of the bag. They're just going to be zip tied in the bag. There'll be all three of them in the bag. They're going to look like this, but if you cannot get them in the ground right away, which you really should try to get them in quickly because as I said before, we grow them and we take them out of the ground and ship them to you fresh, very fresh. You'll see that when they arrive. If you can't get them in the ground right away, put that in the refrigerator or in a cool, dark spot just to hold them, you know, until you can get them in the ground. You don't want that freshness to go away. Kind of treat them like fresh vegetables, okay? Hey, Michelle, um, I don't mean to yeah. interrupt you, but we're getting a question on Facebook. So yeah. some of the questions we're getting on is the different variety. So this is the start. Yeah bright this is the starry night the starry night has a little bit deeper color flowers but people were asking right. rochelle um wait we're not going to get these till june we want them we want them now this shows the zone map right so this is exactly when uh the gardeners say you need to plant these uh, if you're you know in the north you'll get them by yeah. may 3rd is that right yeah, we're going to be shipping in April. So this is when you're going to be getting it, depend on we ship from south to north. So um, you can basically plan on getting yours. Pretty much most everybody will get it in April with a few people will get that in that very beginning of May. We stop shipping at the beginning of May. Um, so you're going to get that in April. And when you get it, plant it right away. Um, the June, with if you heard the June, that's really when the, the plant is going to start to really start growing. It's a slower starting plant. So just so you know, like you've got all these other things going on in your garden. A lot of the other plants that we feature, they get going a little earlier. This one is a plant that really comes into its own in that late June, July, August timeframe and goes right the way through the fall. So this just gives you a lot of interest in that later season. That's, that's, that's all. But you're going to get your plant in April. You're going to plant it in April and it, you'll be off to the races. You don't have to worry after that. I'm so glad. Okay. They're $12.50 each. So imagine this. this. Price, I mean, honestly, <laughs> imagine going to a garden store and I keep thinking about my family in um, um, Minnesota and South Dakota. You would never see these in the garden store, but imagine going in and saying, I'll just take that big giant plant for $12.50, yeah. free shipping and handling, right? I'll take this one for $12.50, and then, oh, why don't you throw in that gorgeous big red one for $12.50, that's it, total. We'll ship them to you for free. This is the starry, starry night, and this is the most limited, so this will be the first to go today. This is your best value of the entire day and probably the entire season. That's the evening evening rose this is we're going to show you what you're getting in the starry starry night that's the evening rose beautiful big bright pink where you're getting perfect storm that's that light kind of a white delicate with that bright pink in the middle and then you're getting midnight marvel and that's that bright i think that, that to me is that traditional look when you when you see the pictures of the the azure seas and the white sand and the palm trees and this bright red hibiscus that's what that looks like to me so that's the starry starry night and then your star bright is this three pack i, I would 
if you're on the phone or if you're on hsn.com, you might as well just get both because you can plant them alternately, put them all in big pots or plant them in the ground. So this is the Star Bright. And what you're getting here are three of the different colors. They will get this big and gorgeous. There's the Berry I love Awesome. That one. I like that one. I like the name too. That one's All really names are so, so cool. pretty to me. Yes, it's beautiful because it's that kind of almost like a like a lavender pink. Yeah. And then that deep, deep magenta there. I I could never pick a favorite. These are so beautiful. You're getting all of them though. And then you're getting ballet slippers, which is the white with that um, beautiful, it almost looks like that sort of heirloom quality with that a little bit of ruffle. It looks kind of like a, like a ballerina's roughly skirt to me. And then you're getting the summer in paradise included. These will ship to you right when you need to plant them. You don't have to worry about your zone. Leaf and Petal is the experts. They're gonna tell you. It really is like someone holding your hand saying, okay, I'm gonna ship this right to you. It's $12.50. Let me hang on to it until it's right time for you to plant it. You don't have to set an alarm. You don't have to put it on your calendar like you do if you bought seeds. Good luck finding seeds. Good luck finding any kind of plants these days with all the millions of new gardeners out there. This is the way that you have a guarantee. So you're getting leaf and petals guarantee, a year of their guarantee. If, you, if anything happens within that year, they'll replace it or they'll help you along the way, like they made me a, a better and more confident gardener. We're gonna ship it to you for free. This is your only day to take advantage of this. And Rochelle, I know, as you know, uh, we're excited. One of the good things I think that came out of, of 2020 was that so many millions of people said, I'm, I'm going to get back into the earth. I want to make my home mm -hmm. an oasis and really start to dig in, literally dig in. I didn't even know that was yep. a pun until I said it. But unfortunately, that's made it very, very difficult to get any kind of plant, whether it's a seedling or uh, a really established two-year-old plant like this. Yeah, no, um, the the market is really bonkers right now. We're finding it, you know, at every level, plants, seeds, vegetables, um, perennial shrubs. I mean, everything is just, it's just going. So um, all of our plants, honestly, I'm, I'm so glad we're starting early because when you purchase, you are really just reserving and you're gonna get, you, you bought a guarantee to have your plants and they're gonna be delivered at the right time. So, you know, any of our plants, it's just one of those things. If you, uh, if you wait until, you know, you actually would plant it to buy it, you're probably not gonna find it. Um, that's, that's, no, that's typical in a regular gardening year. This year, like last year, we learned our lesson, not a regular gardening year. Everybody is really wanting to plant up their yard. And these, honestly, these are just gorgeous. These are really, by the way, I just wanna tell you how big these get. They're so good for like hedges or screening because these are gonna get three to four feet tall and four to five feet wide. I mean, so these make a gorgeous hedge if you want. They make gorgeous potted plants like you have there on set. Um, that you can really just move around your patio. You can screen things out. You kind of make this really cozy space, make it feel really tropical. There's so many good uses for these, um, these, I mean, they're just these big, beautiful shrubs. And personally, I gotta say that dark leaf, I know that's our more limited. That's a harder thing to find in the gardening world. The dark leaves are always really popular because they just give such depth to our gardens and they really offset not just the blooms that are on the plant, you know, like when you see those white blooms against that dark foliage or the pink against the dark, that's just, the contrast there is just so unique and gorgeous. It is but they that's also called the Starry really Starry offset Night, by the way. The Starry Starry yes. Night, yeah. The mm -hmm. dark leafed ones are the night and the uh, green leafed ones are Starry right. Starry Bright. Yes. Right. <laughs> that's um, gonna be remember. So yeah, so that's how you tell apart. The dark leaf ones are the night and the bright. Um, but yeah, the dark leaf, it really is just, um, it's such a nice thing to have in your garden when you're, you know, kind of mixing up plants and kind of making these beautiful arrangements of different kinds of things. It really, uh, it makes everything around it just really pop which is exciting because it's hard to do that in the garden sometimes when you have a whole lot of green. So that's why we really love those dark leaf plants. And Rochelle, they just as you're, as help you're everything else look great. As you're kind of talking yeah. about kind of where things go, because I know that you, you plan beautiful gardens for gorgeous hotels, castles, um, estates. So it helps us to understand, but where do we, people are asking on Facebook, do we plant these in full or partial sun? Um, where do we plant them when they come to us? So these are going to be uh, happiest in either full or partial sun. You don't you don't want to plant 
really probably plant them in the deep shade. They do need some sunlight, full to partial sun. Uh, definitely plant them in an area where you can get them a lot of water. So if you have irrigation, then you're going to be fine. Otherwise, just make sure it's a, a you know, consistently moist location where you get uh, regular watering. Or if you plant them in a container, then you can control your water, make sure they're watered all the time. You, you know, put a little drip irrigation in there if you have that or just water them regularly. It's the water that's really gonna help them get to be that big, beautiful shape and those gorgeous blooms. They are wetland plants natively, so they like that water, which also makes them problem solvers in your garden too. These are the one of the pieces that really don't like to have what we say, wet feet. They don't like it. They don't like when their roots are too wet. This is not one of them. This is one of those plants that actually, if you have a really damp kind of soggy area in your garden, this is a plant that's going to love that and actually just thrive there. So love that because people always have drainage issues and like, what do I plant under the downspout and you know, all those kinds of questions. This, this is perfect for that. <laughs> plant this. Yeah. And it's, it's in the name. It's hardy hibiscus. I think huge should also be in the name because those blooms yeah. are astounding. Today, for our very best value of the day and only for the day. Um, as I'm getting updates, we've almost 2,000 spoken for just in about 20 minutes. So these will definitely not last the day. If you want that starry, starry night, this is by far the most popular. It's very rare. It's really difficult to find anywhere. So if you're on the phone and you're thinking, you know what, I might get one set today and then maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Mm -mm. These are two-year-old plants that are coming to you. So we can't just order more. They can't, they can't make more. <laughs> they're, they're two years old. Yeah. Um, what we've got is what we've got. So this is the starry night. You're getting the, um, you're getting that one's the perfect storm. You saw the evening rose. It comes with midnight marvel. Those are the ones with the deep, dark leaves. These would be $63 and 87 cents. And then plus free, sh plus the shipping and handling on each one. So we're shipping them to you for free. They're $12.50. You deserve to turn your home into an oasis. Maybe even if it's just your lanai, your patio, if you're renting and you've got any sort of outdoor space, treat yourself. This is the star bright option, still also very popular. This is called Berry Awesome. You're also getting that light, light, delicate ballet slippers. So beautiful. And then there's Summer in Paradise, bright, deep. Um, mm, I mean, I want to, you know, it's funny. I always say that's kind of that hibiscus pink. <laughs> but it is yeah. hibiscus. Um, we have, we, you know, we had a fun game that we played earlier. We were showing you um, match the host with the hibiscus. So um, <laughs> there you go. So there's one, two, and three. You have to guess if uh, whose is guys, whose is Michelle's, and then oh. whose is mine. All right, we're gonna, Ooh. we're gonna reveal the answer now. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh yeah, mine is. Mine is little, but it's hanging I was gonna in there. I guess the guys was the biggest one in the middle. That's yeah. so good. Of course, of course. Um, or I think he cheated. I don't know if he can cheat. He um, probably all right, <laughs> we've got a lot more coming up for you with Leaf and Petal. It's our very special home event, so we've got a lot of great values for you. Beautiful plants coming up, including some heirloom tomatoes. I'm excited about that. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. It's time to prepare your home indoors and out. So whether you're doing some early spring cleaning, trying out new recipes, or staying entertained at home, find just what you need during our spring home and cleaning event tonight on HSN and at hsn.com. With the power of HP from HSN, reinvent how you work, how you play, how you live. Technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, and deals designed for every budget. HP on HSN and at hsn.com. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Monday, March 8th is International Women's Day, a global holiday honoring the contributions of women around the world. Join us here on HSN all day as we celebrate our female entrepreneurs, designers, guests, and hosts.
It's a day of programs and products by and for women during International Women's Day. Right here on HSN March 8th. the show ready set grow if you're ready for your home to be beautiful and all ready for spring that's what our spring home event is all about here at hsn so whether you're new to hsn maybe you're new to gardening maybe you've been shopping with hsn for a long time but you've never seen these before you gotta get your hands on these we lower the price just for our spring and outdoor event Four dollars, well, over four dollars off. You can get them home for eight dollars and nine cents. We'll ship them to you for free. You're getting two of the tri-color plants. These are called balmy monarda. I think I'm pronouncing that right. They're so new. I don't even know how to pronounce them. They smell incredible. This really delicate, almost like a lemon chamomile sort of scent. Uh, I am so excited. Okay, here's what I was really excited about. Besides the fact that Rochelle is joining us, this says. It attracts beneficial insects that act as mother nature's pest control. Oh, I am all about that. Yes. And it's disease resistant foliage. All right, first you had me at the smell, at the scent and the beautiful flowers. But Rochelle, these are, these are gonna be really simple and I love that they almost take care of themselves that they're disease resistant. Yeah, um, and they, these are really like some of the easiest plants to grow in the garden. They love full sun. Um, and these ones in particular are more of a dwarf size. So if you've grown bee balm before, uh, often they, I have some that are almost as tall as I am, but this, and they're all, they're also usually just in shades of red or pink. So that's, what's really cool about these is that you get all three colors and they're very unique colors all in the same pot and they're going to grow together. So you get that, that tri-color look, which is so pretty. And you're right. The scent is amazing. You know that they make, um, tea when when we uh when we bostonians i'm up in boston when we threw all that tea in the harbor we learned that we could make tea from this this is what everybody drank when we ran out of the english tea so many years ago we used bee balm so this is this is a very aromatic plant that's why pollinators love it that's why we love it we do make um you know you can make a tea out of it it smells amazing it's very kind of nourishing sort of smelling it draws in all the bees and the butterflies very very popular if you're looking to create a pollinator garden and support pollinators and when you draw in all of those beneficial um insects you're also drawing in sort of yeah like you said mother nature's um you know pest control because they balance each other out and they keep everything in check this is a perennial, so this will come back year in, year out. That clump will get bigger and bigger. Mine, I have I have some bee balm that literally, it's, it doesn't spread aggressively, but I've had it for years and years. It just fills huge areas. It's really, really nice. You're gonna be able in a couple years to um, split it if you want and share it with your friends. I mean, this is a, a great plant just to kind of let grow and grow. Um, again, this comes with a full one-year warranty. This is something that, by the way, would look really fantastic in front of the hardy hibiscus. Um, but this is also something that, um, unlike some of the other stuff we're going to talk about, this is going to keep blooming kind of from that midsummer in, uh, from that, sorry, late spring um, through the midsummer sort of time frame, and really look great for a very long time. These blooms last a long time. They're these funny little like. Uh, this, they're, they're very unique flowers when you look at them. It, it, they're, they're like little tassel -y hats is what I always think of them as. Like, well, that's um, a good description. I almost thought of them as like like fireworks. You know, they almost look like they're yeah. like they're exploding <laughs> out. And they're such beautiful colors. It's like a deep cornflower, purple blue, and then a magenta, and this most beautiful pink. They're all going to be in the same pot. So when you get them, they're going to be about this size. You're going to get two. Mm -hmm. For $24.26, we will ship them to you for free. That's just for our very special spring and home event going on today. So this is the time to get it. You know, we've had a couple of questions about when to plant. 
again, Leaf and Petal takes care of all of the guesswork. They take all the guesswork out of it. So we can show you a zone map if you're wondering, and you can find your state on there and kind of estimate when your, um, when your plant will ship to you, but you just plant it as soon as you get it, and then it's just yeah. the right time. So I love that because, um, Rochelle, you at Leaf and Petal, you're the experts, so you know the zone map, and you know exactly which plant is to be sent to us when it's supposed to be planted. Yeah, our whole goal is to make this super easy for anybody who's not feeling the most confident about their gardening skills. We pick plants that are very easy to grow, that are gonna make you look like a rock star gardener, make you very proud of, of what you've done, and that are and then we make it really easy for you. We make it easy by um, sending you these great varieties, but also um, sending them to you right when it's time to plant them. And then also we have the guarantee and this whole uh, way of contacting us. If you have any questions, you need any help, we're always there to help you out and um, get you going in the right direction if something starts to go wrong and you're feeling a little nervous about anything. These though, these are such solid, solid plants. Bee balm, I mean, look at them. They're the cutest things. They literally, those, those by the way too, I love these because once those flowers go off, these are a great like into winter plant. We always like to talk about things that are four season. So if you don't cut back your garden right away, those um, those little fireworky petals ultimately fall off and they you're left with these like dark kind of sculptural things. They're really beautiful in the winter too. Beautiful. And those will come back year after year after year after year. So that $12 per plant, it starts to look like nothing when you think about how many years you're going to enjoy those beautiful blooms. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're getting all four of these roses. These are the mini roses. You're getting all four colors. You don't have to choose. I could never choose for $19.95. Only for today, we've taken $5 off. You can get them home for $6.65 and free shipping and handling. Okay, you know our today's special hibiscus. It's $12.50 per plant. Each one of these mini rose bushes is $5 today. Are you kidding me? They're beautiful and when they come, when they come, uh, this is that mini rose sort of, they have like a spray of roses. Each one is really special. This has that sort of heirloom quality with the white and the pink, hot pink for, for $5 per plant. This is an amazing yeah. value. And you're getting all four of those, right? You are, you are. Mini roses are really fantastic because a lot of people get really scared off by roses in general because they have this reputation of being very difficult to grow. But the mini roses are completely different. These are tough as nails plants. You really cannot go wrong with them. And on top of that, I actually think that I like them better because they give you such a mass of blooms. They really kind of act like annuals, something that you might plant just for that big pop of color, but they're not annuals, they're perennials that are gonna come back year in and year out. And they make really good cut flowers because those sprays of little mini roses, they work really, I love to cut flowers out of my garden. So these work, in my opinion, better sometimes than the regular long stem variety of roses because you get a bunch of uh, flowers on the one stem and they're really, uh, they last really, really long in the vase. So yeah, you get all four colors. These, This is how they're gonna come. The, this size. I've planted these for the last couple years. They are full on shrubs. These are going to love the sun, by the way. Um, they're not going to be so happy in the shade. So get them a nice sunny spot. But this is just all about color. This is about just filling your garden with those bright, beautiful colors. And you're getting four different colors here, which is fantastic. I love the orange one. I think those are my favorite. Um, they're just so... Um, they're so like corally orange. They're just a really pretty shade for your garden, a really unique one. Um, but also the the one that that's speckled, that's really unique as well. Those look so they, pretty in arrangements. It's unbelievable. They are so beautiful. You're getting all four varieties. They're $5 each. You know, we, we're getting a lot of questions about when to plant them. That would have been my first question, when to plant them, where to plant them. Uh, Leaf and Petal does all the all the guesswork, all the expertise for you. So we have a zone map. If you want to sort of get an idea of when you'll be planting these, there's that zone map. When I look at the zone map, I truly zone out. I'm like, wait, what? I don't know. When do I, huh? I have to buy. Okay, but 
I don't have to worry about the zone map. You can take a glance at it just so you know when your roses are going to come to you and when you're going to plant them. But as soon as they arrive, that's when you plant them. Leaf and Petal won't send them to you before you need to plant them or after. They'll send them to you right when you need to plant them. 745-582 is your item number. Oh, we are very busy on the phones. You can go to hsn.com to order yours. You would never be able to find this variety in your home and garden store. Of course, as you know, it's difficult to find plants at all, let alone such an amazing variety, let alone something that's $5 per plant. Now that price is just for today, kind of like our today's special, $6.65 on any credit card. That's how our flex pay works. It's interest-free payments. And then Leaf and Petal will ship this to you for free right when it's time for you to plant them. So Rochelle, where uh, where do we plant them and then how, uh, how big will these get? Yeah, so these are gonna get a few feet. They're not gonna get super tall. They're kind of like beautiful mounds of roses so a few feet in each direction ultimately um they they really are kind of like um people plant annuals in their garden to get that really big pop of color and this is a great way to not be planting annuals which you know when you plant annuals it's a one year and you're done like as soon as the season's over you're not going to get that plant back again because over the winter it's not going to survive but this is going to give you that same kind of pop of color that's really pest free maintenance free it's roses i mean that's the crazy part it's roses and it's so easy and you're going to get all of that beautiful color you know just like you would from annuals in your garden they love 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 that sunny spot they're great front of the border sort of plant i i like to plant them in front of um, you know like grasses or some other bigger things because these really uh, you know you just want to kind of get up close to them and look at these beautiful flowers they're so pretty they're mini they're not as big as like your regular roses but they're just sprays of them which is like the coolest thing they're so good for cutting i had some here the other day i've been mixing and matching them with all kinds of different other Ooh. flowers from the grocery store like just jazzing up my grocery store blooms um so yeah it, these are these are just such fantastic workhorses of the garden that you really cannot go wrong with mini roses and that's the thing that I love about mini roses is because, you know, roses really are scary to people. And I, I, you know, I used to be scared of roses because they can, they have this reputation for being harder to grow and, you know, having pest problems. But that's what's fantastic about the mini roses. These ones are pest free, deer resistant. They are tough as nails plants. You really you know, if you love roses and you're a little nervous about growing them, the mini rose is really the way to go. They are going to be the easiest that you can possibly grow. Really, truly easy plants in general. Just and, and honestly, Rochelle, for $19.95, you can't even get a bouquet of roses, right? That's going to no, last no, like, I don't know, no. a week. So you're getting those roses that will come back over and over and over again every year. You're getting that year warranty from Leaf and Petal, and we're going to ship them to you for free. Now, if you missed it, our today's special. 2,600 spoken for. Oh, I couldn't be happier that everyone's going to get their own tropical oasis. So here are your choices. You can choose the Starry Night. That's the one with those deep wine-colored leaves that comes with the Evening Rose. Perfect Storm, which is this white and hot magenta, a um, little bit of almost like tea-stained leaves, and then the Midnight Marvel. Those are the most limited, so if you wanted to get those, you're going to want to jump on that before you hop in bed. Then we also have the Star Bright, which is this option, and you're getting all three, so you get Very Awesome, that really pretty, kind of a uh, purpley pink. You're also getting ballet slippers. That's that light, delicate white with pink and then summer in paradise. And the star bright has the bright green leaves. The starry, starry night has the deep, dark leaves. Very rare to find. These are hardy hibiscus. Normally they'd be $21 a piece. You're getting all three for $37.50. Add in those planters as well. We've got a set of three planters um, so that you can get them all ready to go and you'll plant them as soon as they arrive leaf and petal will send them to you right when it's time to plant did you see how i don't i know that you can't see them right now um but the the, the flowers on those hibiscus were quite literally 
as big as my head. <laughs> Those hibiscus, yes. they're yes. absolutely stunning. So I can see why close to 3,000 have already been spoken for. I know most of you are picking up more than one set and what a smart idea. Oh, your home is gonna look so gorgeous. Send pictures um, when your hibiscus yes. um, it blooms. I mean, those beautiful roses bloom. And then if I were your neighbor, I would love to be able to take advantage of some of your bounty of this next offer because these <laughs> are, uh, this is what has been so popular these days as well is planting your own garden. And when mm -hmm. Leaf and Petal makes it so simple and they include uh, vegetables that will grow really, really easily, even for novice gardeners like myself, this is the time to get it. So what you're getting is you're getting this basil. Now these are the sm these are small leaves. They'll grow much bigger than this. This is actually called um, Emerald Towers Basil. All of them will come in a two and a half inch pot. You're getting the Shishito Pepper, which I learned some really interesting details about that. One in 10 apparently will be mildly spicy. They've been really popular in restaurants, although a lot of us haven't been able to go to restaurants these days. You can grill them, you can roast them. Um, you never know what you're gonna get, sweet or a little bit spicy. That's kind of like me. You never know what you're going to get from day to day. Um, okay, and then this to me is worth well over the $21.95. These heirloom tomatoes are incredible. Look at the size on those. This is called Tasmanian chocolate. It's related to that deep, dark, purple heirloom tomato that's so popular that by the time you find it in that gourmet grocery store, it's squished, it's old. These will be your own fresh delicious heirloom tomatoes. <gasps> Just slice a tomato and put it with basil mm. and uh, on a plate, <laughs> right? That's like an amazing yeah. snack. And you're getting everything here for a special price of $21.95 and free shipping and handling. Rochelle, I know we don't often get to share uh, vegetables and, and foods and herbs with everybody, but this is a really special offering. These are, and I, I gotta say, I am so excited because I love my tomatoes. I grow lots of varieties and the dark tomatoes, the Cherokees are the ones, these are uh, 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 an offspring of the Cherokee. And the reason why you would grow these dark tomatoes is because they are known for their flavor. If you are a tomato lover, you know that the darker tomatoes have just oh. that amazing flavor. And then the basil, here's what I love about this particular basil. If you've ever grown basil, lots of people grow basil. You can, you know, buy even basil in the grocery store. But this one is so great because you'll know what happens if you grow basil when it bolts and it always bolts. And when I say bolt, that means it starts to throw out those flowery little seed heads. The leaves stop tasting quite as good. They taste different. And the plant wants to do that. It's it, They all do that. They set this is a no bolt basil. So if you've had that problem before where it's constantly like as a gardener, you know, you always have to go around and snip the flowers off the basil to keep it, keep it going and keep it happy. This one, you're not going to have to do that because it doesn't bolt. And then these peppers. Yeah, these were a super big trend before restaurants shut down. You grill them just like and put some um, like kosher salt over them with a little bit of olive oil and you eat them like a snack. They are mm. so crazy good. Just just like that. So simple. And I mean, come on, there's nothing like growing your own vegetables. And trust me on this, because I did a little bit of research, I thought, you know, I wonder what prices are if you start it from a seed, which I can't start anything from a seed. Um, there, you can't buy seeds. You can't buy heirloom tomato seeds anywhere. They're just gone. But you're getting the plant already started for you. This is a gorgeous hydrangea. Hydrangea was my um, my my favorite flower, and I always think of hydrangea and my my wedding centerpieces. But these are stunning. The Red Sensation Hydrangea for $22.46, $7.49. We'll ship it to you for free. This will come to you just like this. And hydrangea is, we were talking, you know, Rochelle, you were talking about making a big, like kind of a, that big sensation in your garden or in yeah. your front yard or next to your um, next to your entryway. Hydrangea makes such a huge sensation, and I've never actually seen yeah. these deep, almost like a like a rosy red pink. And you get it, you get a one year warranty with these. Now, how how easy are these to plant and grow? Uh, hydrangeas are actually super easy and we've made them even easier with the breeding that's happened over the last few years. If you've ever grown hydrangeas before, one of the big problems that people have is they 
uh, will maybe not bloom in a year. And that happens because uh, they used to bloom on what we call old wood, which is like a, the second year the branch grows is when it blooms. So it has two years to basically get damaged by um, frosts and things like that. And that can happen a lot. Now they bloom, they've been bred to bloom on new wood and old wood. So branches will be growing this year and then they'll bloom on them this year, which basically guarantees that you're always gonna get those blooms. And this particular red hydrangea, red is very unique. That's why I love this one. Normally you see hydrangeas mostly in pinks and blues, sometimes in white, but the pinks and blues are the most common. So when you see a red one, it's really pretty special. And the part that I love about this one even more, I love to cut my hydrangeas and bring them in again in arrangements. And these dry beautifully as they age, whether you're bringing them in as a cut flower or if you leave them on the plant, as they age, they start out as that like rosy red. They turn to like a deep whiny purple and it is just beautiful. Like the way these flowers you know, kind of dry out and die back, whether you leave them on the plant or have them in an arrangement. And by the way, hydrangeas are great for drying in general. They dry beautifully. I have tons of them in my house, just as dried flowers. You can do that with this. These are so easy to grow. They're gonna want, again, these like a nice moist spot or just regular water, but they're tough. They, you know, even if you start to see them wilt, these are kind of, um, uh, barometers of the moisture in your garden. These are going to be the first one that start to look a little parched and you're going to throw water on them and they're going to literally, you can watch them like perk back up. They are so happy uh, with just a tiny bit of water when it's really hot outside. Um, but these are good for, you know, shade into the sun. They are just tough, tough, good, easy plants to grow. And they're so, so pretty. So pretty. They are. You know, I like it when a, when a plant is tough, but it doesn't look yeah. like it's tough. You know, it looks like it's so difficult yeah. to grow, and the fact that it's unique and none of your neighbors will have it really makes your home stand out. So uh, a couple of other things I noticed requires little to no pruning. I'm in. No. Deer resistant, cold hardy, heat tolerant. If you're wondering if you can grow this hydrangea in your home, we have, uh, we have a zone map that you don't have to memorize this zone map. This just gives you an idea of when Leaf and Petal will be sending you your hydrangea at the perfect time to plant. So this is your zone map. This is a perennial. So it will come back year after year after year. Mm -hmm. 643499 is your item number. So these will, if in the, in the most Southern states, these are going to come right now in March and then just through April. Yeah. Yeah, these um, these are great plants. Yeah, they're they're tough plants. So you can plant them as soon as like your ground really is thawed out and you're starting to get you know that consistently decently warm weather. We're not there yet up here in New England, but I think you're getting close to that. Well, I know you are down in Florida. You're ready to go, but <laughs> even in the South, yeah, these are tough as nails plants. And so, yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, just plant them when they arrive. Um, these have these beautiful leathery leaves. That's another thing that I have to say is really great about hydrangea. They're a different texture than a lot of other plants that you get in the, gar in the garden. Look at that leaf foliage. I mean, it's just so beautiful because it's so full and leathery and dark and rich looking. And it just beautifully offsets these big, you know, mounds of flowers. And if you know hydrangea, you know, they, they grow in these like balls of flowers. Look at that, like like little pom-poms of flowers. And that those pom-poms are like head-sized. I mean, they're really substantial. They make great, great cut flowers. This variety is so uniquely special just because of that color. That color is unique for sure. It comes out with red and then ages into that whiny purple, stunning, stunning. So pretty. You know, it's funny, I, I, we have a lot of fashion here at HSN, and I think about um, people complimenting you on your shoes or uh, your lipstick or something. These will get you compliments from your neighbors. They'll say, mm -hmm. where did you get those? Where can I get those? By the time they see them in your yard, they won't be able to get them here at HSN. Speaking of not being able to get them, this is a one day only. Just today, you can get four of the Color Rush Mini Roses for $19.95. That's $5 per mini rose bush. And yes, those are perennial, so they will come back and flower year after year after year, giving you the most gorgeous hot orange roses or that beautiful sort of striped, almost like an heirloom antique look rose, that white, beautiful soft petal and the beautiful lavender. You get all four varieties for $19.95. Those have been very, very popular. We brought in just enough for maybe the early morning hours. So if you are watching right now, I would get the $6.65 on any credit card. And I love 
have to, we're shipping everything to you for free in this hour from Leaf and Petal. And that means you don't have to think about going and bringing a big pickup truck or a big SUV and driving to the garden store only to be met with people saying, mm, we got empty shelves, we don't have anything. Here at HSN and Leaf and Petal, they've been growing these plants just for you and just for this year. If you love that succulent, talk about no, no, uh, no high, <laughs> no high maintenance right here. Um, you're getting <laughs> yeah. two, right? Um, this is a succulent duo. Succulents have been having such a popular moment. In fact, in California, with um, with a lot of the yards, they do all succulents. It's so beautiful, and the fact that they don't need much water, that they're really, really hardy, um, is really cool. They're adorable, aren't they? They each have their own personality. You're getting both of them yeah. for just twenty six dollars and sixty five cents, eight eighty eight. How cool to put them in these little pots. I know these are the these are just so fun. I think of um, my kids love these. By the way, they I mean I have teenagers. They are like into the house plant trend, which I love that they all they 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 saw these come into my house and they were like, oh, can I have that in my bedroom? These are so easy to grow though because the really the only way you're going to kill this is if you overwater it. They really like to be dry, and in fact, you will kill it if you overwater it. So don't do that. These are um, very uh, tough. Plants. They, succulents um, hold the water in their uh, foliage, and that's why they have that 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 kind of glaucous look about them. Um, the peperomia, they call it happy beans because honestly, the I'm gonna pluck one out. I mean, they literally look like green beans that come, you know, like when you buy them in the grocery store. That's what these look like. That's how all of these leaves look. And if, and to be honest, if I, I plucked this out, if I put this back in the soil, this will literally root over time and I'll get even more of a plant, which is so fun. They're just easy, easy to grow. And then you've got this little tiny cactus and these have little tiny spines. So yeah, you don't want to pet it. It is called bunny ears, which makes you think it's soft. It's not that soft, actually. You will get <laughs> tiny little spires in it, but they're so cute is the thing. They're just... You know, if you're a house plant collector, which a lot of people are and just like to have a lot of varieties, I love that. I have plants all over my house. You know, each one has its own little personality and these are just charming as can be with a happy bean and the bunny ears. That's what we call the bunny ears and happy beans. I like it. They, look like, they look like two little buddies, right? They're so different. Yeah. Sometimes you buy a succulent, succulent and you're like, I don't know which ones would go with which. Uh, they're a nice size as well. Some succulents only get kind of teeny tiny and just um, a little minuscule. Mm -hmm. So these are a great size, $8.88 ideal for beginners, ideal to be able to start yeah. a succulent garden or to continue one, and they love being indoors, even in the winter. So we don't have a zone map then for these, right, Rochelle? Because you can you, you can put succulents yeah, in your home anytime. Yeah, these are really houseplants. I mean, they're, they're gonna ship when we ship all of our other plants. So, um, you know, you can't ship things like this when it's super cold. We don't want them to freeze on the way to you. But yeah, these are houseplants. Um, I suppose if you're uh, down in um, Florida or wherever, or uh, honestly, I'll probably put these out. I put all my houseplants outside for the summer. They love that. These are gonna do really great in, in that sort of situation. But yeah, you'll bring them back in for the winter because these are not hardy in most places. I, I mean, maybe down in Florida they are, but yeah, they're made, made to, they're meant to be house plants. They don't mind if they, you don't really need to have them in full sun. Both of them are pretty tolerant of sort of uh, well lit. I mean, not a dark, dark room, but you know, nothing particularly special with the sun. Don't overwater them. This is the plant that you can totally ignore and it's gonna be thankful for it. If you do overwater it, that's where you're really gonna be in trouble with this. So if you're that forgetful kind of gardener, as many of us are, and you kind of like weeks and weeks go by and you're like, oh, oops, I forgot to water it. These ones are not gonna be mad at you. They're gonna be so happy still. <laughs> Isn't it nice not to ha just to have something in the house that's not mad at you? I've got a couple teenagers. So it's nice to think, oh, they're just not going to be mad at you. The little bunny ears, yeah. um, they're going to be happy. They're, it doesn't matter. Um, you can't you can't kill them unless you overcare for them. If you spend too much time worrying about them, um, that's worse for them. So um, the let they just need less attention. Oh, isn't it nice to think of something needing less attention and less stress? Um, speaking of less 
attention and less stress, but so beautiful. For today and today only, we have these stunning miniature roses. They are a set of four. You don't have to choose which color you want. You get all of the colors for $19.95 just today. So that makes them about $5 per plant. You get all four. You don't have to choose. You can look there and see the beautiful colors. Um, they come out as kind of spray roses. They're perennials. So you will get for $19.95, you will get bouquet after bouquet after arrangement after arrangement of gorgeous roses year after year after year after year. You do not have to be an expert gardener like you would think with traditional roses. You don't have to know where to prune them or how to care for them. They're going to come in four containers just like that. You just pop them in the ground or in a or in a container. They go beautifully with our amazing today special. Six dollars and sixty-five cents. They're five dollars per rose bush a rose bush that you're getting for $5 and we will ship them to you for free. We've sold almost a thousand today. And at that, at that rate, they will definitely not last. That This day only price, sometimes you see me and it says, this day only and you think, oh, it's gonna last all day. I can get them in the morning. Do not wait on those. If you just wanna wake up to a beautiful bouquet in your own yard for $5 each, you can do just that. Treat yourself to a bouquet. You know, you don't have to go out and buy yourself a bouquet of roses. You couldn't even get an entire bouquet of roses for $19.95. Now you're getting four big rose bushes and they will continue to give you blossoms year after year after year, guaranteed for a year. So that's what Leaf and Petal does for you. And they will send that to you exactly at the time that it's time to plant them, just like our amazing today's special. We're gonna give you an encore presentation.